notice the stars in the sky. I need you to shut it. What's going on Maxers and welcome again to another brand new video in the channel and today we're going to topic about multi-payload and multi-servers for your HTTP injector okay and uh, if you're new here consider yourself subscribing because I'm doing lots of tutorials every Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays and without further ado let's start okay so the first thing I need you to do is go to your HTTP injector and uh, go to the section where they call they called it payload generator okay at the top um, left okay so I created uh, this kind of tutorial because there is one of our audience that want this kind of tutorial and I will going to publish it right away so I will going to talk about you know multi payload and multi servers for this and I don't know why people are using multi payload and multi servers because you know once you're connected into one server then it's good to go it's really not kind of you know creating multi payload and uh, while you are creating multi payload now let's talk about that later so now you can see in the screen that there is a rotate button or a box you should check that one so that you can create a multi payload okay so uh, the first payload is dl.google.com and we're going to um, add another payload and I think we're going to add uh, five payloads for this one the next one will be m.google.com as you can see right now and we're going to you know put a semicolon every single payload and then uh, add appy.google.com again or fb.me or yt.me um, you should uh, check a website that is you know working for your payload so once it is working uh, you have checked that the payload is working you know checking the payload if it is working of course you need to go to that website and if it is working then it's good to go you just going to check the online host forward host and then give a lab and then generate and now we're going to test if that payload the multi payload that we created is good okay so uh, the first thing we need to do is you, you know clear the log in the HTTP injector and then start it right away so as you can see right now that the uh, logs is you know easily connected because you know the first thing that he will going to do is go to the first link that in the payload he will going to go to dl.google.com and then once it is you know connected into 200 status you know then it will basically connect that's cool on the other hand the multi server <laughs> oh my god on the other hand multi server talking about that is really you know not that kind of difficult you just need to create an account for three times four times or maybe you know a lot of guys are creating multi payload but one of them is working uh, at the end of the uh, the servers they will going to put there the working one and then you know the two first will be the 400 one status 503 status you know that kind of connection is it's kind of tricky and the website that I love the most is kindly go to fastsh.com that is really fast because from the website itself fast and I need you to you know select a server whether you are you want to select the South Africa you know the Miss Universe thing and then uh, you select and then after selecting the servers on that one then you will need to create your username and create your password on the other hand uh, the squid proxy on that one must be you know if you create create three accounts in uh, different servers the squid proxy you must check the squid proxy to be uh, the same with the other accounts because if you are going to create three servers and then uh, the, the other servers will have a different uh, proxies and you put it the HTTP injector you put it there the squid proxy of the one um, server only then the two servers will be you know disconnected and it will going to be useless do you know what I mean yeah dig <laughs> So uh, once you created uh, three servers and I need you to copy the settings for that one and put it in your notepad and I need you to go to your HTTP injector right now. And so while you are in your HTTP injector I need you to go to the SSH settings and for the SSH host I need you to you know copy the servers on your notepad the three servers and put it right there for tutorial purposes we're going to copy right now the first server that is working of course and then after that I need you to open 
the bracket and then LF close bracket okay so we're going to do it right now and we're going to find there the S the open bracket and then LF and then close bracket and then paste the other servers okay so after pasting it you need to put LF whether you created four accounts or three accounts then paste it again so that's the connector for your server host okay and it, the username and the password on the other accounts must be must be the same okay so uh, while we are um, looking at the HTTP injector I need you to go back and then start it right away so okay okay let's do it so uh, you can uh, see right now that the proxy settings also must be the same with the other servers because it will not going to work and for the port it must be also the same so it's kind of difficult to create multi servers that is you know we're going to work inside the HTTP injector so I strongly believe that you will need to create a single server only for working servers and then uh, you know start your HTTP injector it will going to matter if you have MB of data that is left on your phone and if you're connected to the internet okay so uh, whether you have load or whether you have no load uh, it matters if you have MB of data left on your phone and if you are connected to the internet to your internet service provider okay ISP and I hope this information helps you a lot on your HTTP injector settings cool so just let me know in the comment section down below if you want a multi payload or you want a single server that is working and fast enough to browse the internet okay and my name is Red Master Max and if you're new here consider yourself subscribing and everything is figureoutable you just need the right room bye bye exit made this